with which we or against which we have to fight the dark world there's a dark world a world of darkness it is here now this evil world is here now the world of darkness is right here sometimes you find yourself with a very sharp pain nothing was wrong before then everything was all right and suddenly ah! hey hey Hey, you you can't bend. You can't. You hey, hey, hey. you know you're looking for where to sit down. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and they may carry you like that. Hey, hey, you know, from one trouble to another, it's worse. It's worse. It's worse. You thought it was a little thing. It's two weeks now. Ah, it's one year now. Since then, you've been working like this. <laughs> What happened? Once upon a time. Fiery darts of the wicked. <laughs> Just like that. For some others, you woke up and you saw something. You looked since that day. You've not been able to see again. <laughs> Since that day, is one eye you've been using. Because somebody told you to look at something. You looked. <laughs> you know, it sounds funny now, but the, the, this is the reality. It's where people live. Somebody went to the office. He was the boss. Everything was all right until that day. He sat on his desk and... They had to carry him from there to the hospital and he never returned why because someone else wanted his job and that person had consulted with spiritual forces of darkness rulers of the darkness of this world and they concocted something for him and threw that missile and when he came to work hope they hooked him and from there they carried him away and someone else took his job. Some things like that will happen to Christians. Why? Because they are Nepios. He said, when we were Nepios, we were in bondage under the elements of the world. But as many as are led by the Spirit of God, as many as are led by the Spirit of God, as many as are led, oh, hallelujah! Hey! Those who are led, they come into the office, hey! Phronesis, 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 ay, ay, ay! For some reason, he is not sitting on the chair. For some reason, he starts talking in tongues. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Then the anointing is stared. The anointing is stared. When he sits on the chair, what was there bounces off. Then you hear a native doctor died somewhere. You didn't do anything. But when you stayed the anointing and sat down on that chair, that evil that was sent against you. Somebody shout hallelujah! Glory to God! Who 
what is God waiting for? He says the earnest expectation of the creation waited for the manifestation of the sons of God, the hewers of God, who understand spiritual things. Hallelujah! Something has happened in the realm of the spirit. Daniel could not engage spiritual forces of darkness. He could not. Because they dominated the world in which he lived. And the law of his nation was broken. And Jehovah had gone out of the temple. Oh. He no longer could go to the temple of God. He no longer could offer those sacrifices. He no longer could go and have the ministry of the priesthood. Receive that ministry of a blessing that God had promised them. He no longer had it. Now living in the permissive will of God as a nation. Driven out of their inheritance. But you see the Bible says in Colossians chapter 1. From verse 12 it says, Giving thanks unto the Father, who hath made us meet, who hath qualified us to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in the kingdom of light. There is another kingdom. It is called the kingdom of light. It says, Who hath delivered us from the domain, the authority, from the kingdom, the dominion of darkness, and translated, transferred us into the kingdom of his dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood. We have been transferred, taken out of the domain. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Taken out. We don't belong there anymore. We were transferred, translated from the dominion of darkness. From the rulership of darkness oh hallelujah transferred into the kingdom of god's dear son jesus is our ruler jesus is our prince can you shout amen somebody he is our our ruler now oh hallelujah let me tell you something even though we have angels who move around us the church is not given an angel like you have Michael the prince of Israel. Jesus Christ, head of the church, ruler of the church, when he was leaving the world, he said, I pray the Father and he shall give you another comforter. He said, he shall abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, the spirit of reality. Oh, 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 oh. The spirit of reality, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not. Oh, in this world, this present evil world, they walk according to their senses. They know that cancer is there because they can feel it. They know it is there because they can see it. They know it is there because they have studied in the school and the school has told them the definition of cancer. So they know it. But there is a spirit of reality. You read just now what the angel says. That, that which is noted in the scripture of truths. Hallelujah. What a term. What a term. And now the Bible says, if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have communication. Communication. We have fellowship. Koinonia. A togetherness. Are you understanding what I'm talking about? There is a flow. Are you understanding this? We have fellowship one with another. In the blood of Jesus Christ, his son cleanses us from our sin. If we walk in the light, he has given us his light. 
We are in the kingdom of light. Even though we are in the world, we are not of the world. Are you hearing me? We have our own laws. We use our own light. They take that guy to the doctor. The doctor says you gotta have an x-ray. Well, over here, we have the word ray. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Come on, somebody. We use the word of God to look inside. And then, as we are trained by the Holy Spirit, oh, this is the most beautiful thing in the whole world. The thoughts, the truth, the revelation of the Holy Spirit. The one who teaches us the word of God. The one who takes the words and makes it substance in us. Are you hearing what I'm saying? The one that helps us such that when we are studying the scriptures, it doesn't just go into our brain. We don't reason out the scripture. The Holy Spirit of God helps us receive the word right into our spirit so that we become one with the word. No wonder Paul coined a new word. He called it epignosis. Do you understand? He's talking about a knowledge of the word of God. He's talking about that kind of knowledge where you are not just knowing it, you are knowing it like this. No, he says you are experiencing the knowledge. You are walking in the light of the knowledge. Oh, hallelujah. God wants to use you. Are you hearing me? God wants to use you. But he can't use you while you're suffering with cancer. He can't use you while you're walking in fear. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Those limitations will not help. God wants to use you. He wants to do great things in your life. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.